For more on finance, we're joined by Executive Director of Investor Relations Company, Boss Communications, Rod North, who's hanging on to any rally that he can by his fingernails at the moment, like many other people are too. Rod, we can't even call them rallies these days. What, what are they when the Australian share market blips up? Very short-lived bit of excitement, I think, because uh, we've seen it very much off the back of uh, some confidence coming into the market with some leadership changes. At least uh, we've got Italy and Greece now with uh, Prime Ministers that are likely perhaps to better deal with the issues yeah. because they've got that uh, background of economics and, and, and finance. They're so a little more help. serious, aren't they? I think they'll take it a bit more seriously. But I mean, if you look, <laughs> more serious. If, if you look at Italy, I mean, uh, third largest economy in Europe, about 2.5 trillion dollars in debt. Uh, and uh, a GDP, uh, a, a ratio of debt to GDP of 120%. So I think anyone inheriting that situation, uh, you really want someone who's got sort of a good finance and, and, and commercial head to be able to deal with it. Yeah. And the reality is that, uh, you know, world markets, of course, rallied off the back of that on Friday and then uh, uh, in Asia yesterday. But of course, last night, uh, America's uh, seen the Wall Street market drop uh, a, a fair bit. Yep. Uh, and that's sort of off the back of uh, the US having to deal with its issues of debt which of course are coming up on the 23rd of November where it's got to mm. sort of savagely attack the trillions of dollars of debt there as well. Back home those uh, falls in lending figures yesterday were, were pretty steep weren't they? Yeah they were pretty steep I mean the overall lending figure dropped 6.2% yep. which is quite a drop and personal uh, finance uh, dropped 2.5% which of course uh, pretty much indicates I suppose these are sort of month on month figures so it shows that there's a fair bit of uh, volatility uh, month to month but I suppose uh, you know of course that's historical now and then we see the move by the Reserve Bank to lower the cash rate by 25 basis points. So it sort of takes that emphasis away from that early fear that we had back at, in the early part of the year that perhaps inflation was going to be a, a, a real issue. But doesn't, don't those uh, lending figures that drop also show that banks are just still being incredibly cautious? This is, I mean, it's not a, it's not a credit dry up like we saw during the GFC, no. but it's sort of still the hangover from that, isn't it? Yes, it is. And I mean, I mean anyone trying to get finance yeah. still finds uh, the amount of paperwork that you've got to fill out is, yeah. is uh, daunting. And I think it's going to be some time before the banks perhaps are going to make that a bit easier. Well, that has people. the follow on effect then of those people, say, for example, who are hoping to uh, borrow money for development. Um, perhaps that sort of thing, you don't then see that in the new building building approvals and it just has that, that follow on effect. Correct and I mean even uh, one of the figures that came out yesterday showed that uh, the take up in credit cards was the lowest on record. So you know I think basically people have realised it's just too hard so until we see that situation change uh, you know and the banks sort of down the track perhaps make it a bit easier for people to get finance uh, you know that that makes it a bit tough for the economy doesn't it? I don't know if many are going to lament <laughs> the, uh, the slow take up in credit cards <laughs> no, it's possibly no, a good thing. No. Uh, finally, uh, the AGM season is wrapping up and it seems as though the most positive thing most shareholders have got from them are those sandwiches and cups of tea. There <laughs> hasn't been much else. Really well, that's yeah, about are. right. But also it's quite encouraging that in a lot of cases dividends have been maintained. So at least there's some income. If you're getting no growth from shares, at least you're getting income. So that makes those sandwiches and that tea go down <laughs> a bit better, I can tell that's you. That's exactly right. It's something I think it's overlooked by Australian shareholders. You know, I mean, this is a country where the companies always, you know, always pay dividends. It's, it's a, a rare and bad year when they don't when many other countries companies don't take that away and, and that would just be the worst possible scenario <laughs> I think uh, for ever and the cucumber sandwiches and they're we always like, good like too, those too. Right, wash good to those down with a good cup of tea <laughs> nice to see you thanks so much thanks now coming up on ABC News